Hey there folks, I'm Eric Osberg and this is The Outdoor Report. Thanks for tuning in. Today's episode is called Bottoms Up, a celebration of bottom feeders. We're gonna start by going to the Red River to try to catch big catfish and learn more about this often misunderstood species. We got him all, oh, that thing's huge! Then, we're gonna show you an easy way to cure those midsummer blues with some carp. And we're gonna cool things off with some beards and burbots on ice. All that, plus some savory goodness coming right up here on The Outdoor Report. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Firebrand, the hottest brand on the ice. Northview Bank, you find it, we'll finance it. Little Falls Tourism, where the Mississippi pauses, discovery begins. Smoothie's Sunflower Oil and Chef Robert's Gourmet Breading Mix. Brainerd International Raceway, Lakes Jam. Power Lodge, Ranger Boats and Evinrude. Otter Tail Lakes Country, Yamaha Generators, Revs Your Heart, Excel Outdoors, Catch Cover Hard-Nosed Fish House Products, and JT Custom Rods. I think there is a fish house. It's been said that fishermen are born, not made. I've been blessed with three wonderful children, and one of them just happens to love fishing. His name is Willie. We call him Walleye Willie. A couple years ago, I neglected to take him fishing as much as I should have. To make it up to him, I told Willie if he created a list of 10 species of fish, I would do my best to help him catch them. Here's what he came up with. Northern Pike, Largemouth Bass, Smallmouth Bass, Walleye, crappie, pumpkin seed, bluegill, catfish, lake trout, and muskie. To my surprise, by late fall, we had caught them all. It didn't take long before talk of the 2016 list began. And even though catfish was on last year's list, Willie put big catfish on this list. So we teamed up with Matthew Brewer of North Country Guide Service and his son Tate and headed to the Red River near Drayton, North Dakota. It's completely different than anything uh, most people in Minnesota do. You, you know, your, your river rats are familiar with this, um, but they're not familiar with it to this extent. The setup is fairly simple. It's basically a hook, line, and sinker. A two to six ounce weight can be used depending on current, and circle hooks are recommended. So we're gonna just go up out the top of the head just like that. And we're gonna actually cut them in half. <laughs> and we'll cast them out. Then we wait. <laughs> and that can be the hardest part. That seems like a fish. Oh, oh, seems like we got action on there. Um, there's something on this one. Is he still on or what? <laughs> he's gonna get it, he's gonna have it. Hey, take something. Eventually, a catfish took the bait. Something's on, Tate. Something's yep. on. Yep, 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 yep. Get this thing! Uh, don't let that donut fall over the edge, I see. Okay, he has it, he has it. Okay, go ahead. That's a big cat. Yep, right, there he is. There he is, there he is, there he is. That's a good one. That's your Get personal bass. Oh, really? Where is he? Get him! Get this thing. It's at the service. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Get him. Get him. Oh, yes. That thing's huge. That is a nice cat I'm right there. I'm not holding that thing. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm not holding it. We got one. That's a good start, huh? The Red River is known for kicking out massive catfish. With our first cat in the boat, Willie was almost certain to catch a beast of his own. And then this happened. down a little bit. That's a big cat. Oh my gosh, oh there he is, there he is, get him! Oh, he don't like the net. This thing's huge, get him! Oh, we got him, oh, that thing's huge! Oh, I can't believe I got that thing! Oh my gosh, this is so fun! That is a big catfish. You got the pliers? Does he have spines on his whiskers? No, see this. Here, I'll hold the tip. Feel back behind here. Feel how hard that is. Oh. That can stab you because it's sharp down here. 
So I'm gonna take this and I'll get that hook out. I got his back. His head's mushy. This is a monster catfish right here. Look at that thing. <laughs> Isn't that huge? Yes. Do you want to try to hold them? I don't know. How big is this one? 35 inches. No, 34. It's barely even on the 30. 34 and three quarter. Oh. oh that, back, that back fin gets him to 35. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I do it. That one will definitely cross off my list. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll learn more about catfish. And don't forget, we got carp and burbot still to come, so stay tuned. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Firebrand Fish Houses and Northview Bank. Fish houses aren't just for ice fishing anymore. There's a reason to own one year round. Firebrand features a durable, lightweight aluminum frame and all the comforts of home. Whether you're camping, hunting, or ice fishing, Firebrand has a model to fit the entire family. Firebrand, the hottest brand on the ice. Thanks for bringing us to your cabin. It's so beautiful and what a cute dog. Yeah, I love this place. We better get out of here. Hey, what are you doing on my property? What's with the neighbor's dog? Need your own vacation property? You find it, we'll finance it. Northview Bank, northviewbank.com. In the heart of Minnesota exists a place overflowing with discovery. Whether you're biking the trails, wetting a line, or just soaking it all in, Little Falls is the perfect getaway. Tradition abounds in historic downtown and at the Minnesota Fishing Museum. Little Falls, where the Mississippi pauses, discovery begins. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Little Falls Tourism, Lakes Jam, and Brainerd International Raceway. We're on the Red River north of Grand Forks along the Minnesota-North Dakota border. Matt Brewer, his boy Tate, and my son Willie are catfishing. There's no jigging involved. There's no, no active uh, watching of a bobber. All you do is sit back and watch your rod. Wait for it to keel over and you reel them in if you can. <laughs> there you go. There's a cat. Reel, reel, reel. <laughs> There's a cat on. I want to try netting him. I'll net him, buddy. Okay. That's how a catfish is supposed to hit. <laughs> we haven't caught a small one yet, Tate. We've already crossed big catfish off Willie's fish list, so now we're just having some fun and introducing the kids to something new. This guy's actually not as mushy. And he's sticky. Brad Durick is considered one of the leading experts in the United States when it comes to catfish, and he guides on the Red River. It's the finest channel catfishing in the country. Hands down, no questions asked, not debatable. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, real, 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 real. Oh, Got him. Yep, 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 yep. This is a big one. big one. It's one of the best kept secrets in the country. Everybody knows about it, but it's we're, we're geographically challenged up here, and we live in the middle of walleye world. <laughs> this guy's big. Okay. Oh. oh stop reeling. Get him! <laughs> yeah. Oh. Now push, oh. push the button, Lily. These fish are so misunderstood. Everywhere I go, it's, they're just a bottom feeder. They're just a dumb old bottom feeder. No, they are the top of the food chain. I'm gonna try sliding them up there. He 
is a 29. Look at that, all by himself. She's still in good shape too. You can probably just throw her right overboard. Oh! <laughs> good job. I got her by myself. One of the coolest parts about catfish is if you're looking for something different for the kids. He has it, he has it. This is a great way to try to get him hooked on fishing. Yeah, we got one. They don't have to feel a bite. It's, it's really easy fishing once you know what you're doing. So, um, so great for kids, great for families. I've taken my wife out here. I take, take my son up and do it, and it's, it's just a blast, and it's easy. Oh, he's on. He's on. On. Even though big cats fight incredibly hard, oh! kids can land fish on their own just by leaving the rod in the rod holder. He's up there, he's up, get him, get him! We got him, we got him! Oh, no! Got no. him. <laughs> oh, he's there, he's right there, get him! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> this might be our six. This kind of fishing does require some patience, but the hands-off approach and the chance at a big fish make it worth the wait. I've got it statistically down to about a fish and a half an hour, and you should get one or two wow fish, which is 14 pounds plus or bigger about every four hours. Oh! There he goes. Now you can let him go, he's kicking. He went under the boat, what a doofus. Oh my gosh, that was cool! Under the boat, I just shoved it. Take, here. Take, take. Real, 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 real. Real, Get this thing, Tate. This has to be a giant. Feel like a good one, bud? It has to be. This is a big, big cat. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh there he was. There he was. Oh, that's a monster, Tate. Yeah, this is. I can't. Oh, that's a Tate. You're almost there. You're almost there, Tate. You're almost there. This is the monster we've been waiting for. Yeah, we got him. We got him. We got him. That's, yeah. That's a tank. That's the. Want to push a button? Please. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this thing's huge. That is a true Red River Giant. Slime. This guy is huge. Oh, I'm not letting him poke me. That is a gigantic cat. It's hard right here. Yep, careful. That's a... He's still got a lot of vinegar in him. Oh. That's a slicer and dicer right there. Look at the size of that thing, bud. That's a slicer and dicer. I can hardly lift them. <laughs> oh, look at this. You want some of your whiskers. That thing's, that thing's got to be pushing 20 pounds, though. Look at this. This is so fat. Look at that. Look at this. We do have a double. Oh, you got a double. Keep it on there, dude. Yeah. He, he's on, dude. On that day, we caught eight catfish total, and we even got to end the day with a double. It's a catfish. It's a catfish. Stop, stop. There he is, there he is. That's a small one. That's a small one. Push a button, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up after the break, we're going to show you how to catch another fish that's usually at the bottom of people's list, but maybe shouldn't be. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Northview Bank and JT Custom Rods. This land is beautiful. I'm sure it's great for hunting. Yep, there's a few really nice bucks around here. This would be a nice place to build a house. Oh, I just come out here to hunt and get away from it all. Hey, you're on my property. Can't you see the sign? Run! What? I thought this was your land. Need your own land? You find it, we'll finance it. Northview Bank. Northviewbank.com. Are you looking to up your game? Then get your hands on the new JTX Mag from JT Custom Rods. A cutting edge carbon fiber blank and nickel titanium alloy guides give you the edge. It's the most sensitive and responsive rod money can buy. Go to JTODP.com, enter the Outdoor Report promo code and get 5% off your entire order. 
JT Custom Rods, redefining fishing. From big waters to the shallows and the whole outdoors, the aluminum rig you've always wanted is here. Packed with features, now you can enjoy the legendary ride, quality, stability, and peace of mind from Ranger. Coupled with Evan Root E-Tech's unrivaled performance and 300 hours with no dealer schedule maintenance, every Ranger aluminum boat is engineered to excel and priced to be yours. Power your Ranger with Evan Root E-Tech. We as avid waterfowl hunters can never get enough storage. Whether we are traveling to our favorite hunting shack or nearby honey hole, bringing the right equipment is critical to the success and safety of our hunt. Excel Outdoors provides trailer accessories that meet our needs. Cargo trunks and cargo racks keeps all of our gear really dry and easily accessible. Excel Outdoors, organize your life outside. Hey, you with the cell phone, look up here for a second. As long as you got that thing in your hand, use it. Go to the Facebook or the Twitter or the YouTube and look us up. We know your phone is important to you and believe me, it's important to us too. But we want this show to be as interactive as humanly possible. So if you see a hashtag on your screen, use it. Or go to our Facebook page and post a picture there. Use the hashtag Outdoor Report Fish and we'll repost our favorites. Hope you like the rest of the show. It's time now for some savory goodness. Brought to you by Smoothie's Oil and Chef Robert's Breading. We've been talking a lot about Smoothie's Sunflower Oil and Chef Robert's Gourmet Breading Mix, but what we haven't told you is the Chef Robert's comes in different recipes. We're gonna be cooking catfish today, so we're gonna go with the Chef Robert's Cajun Mix recipe. The coolest part about Chef Robert's Gourmet Breading Mix is you don't need any milk and you don't need any eggs. All you need to do is moisten the fish and then thoroughly coat in the breading. And what we really love about the Smoothie Sunflower Oil is it has that nutty, buttery flavor that goes really well with fish. Just make sure you get it up to 350 degrees, drop them in, and a few minutes later, you've got some savory goodness with a little bit of kick. In his book called The Complete Angler, Isaac Walton called the carp the queen of the river. Many folks consider it to be a lowly rough fish, but to Joe Johnson, it's another fish he can catch. I hope it doesn't break my good walleye rod. It's a big one. Joe says he tries to fish nearly every other day in the summer, and he actually prefers catching carp to walleyes. That's a big one. Well, pretty yep. nice one. Oh, come back here. Ugh. Joining Joe are his godfather, Norm Gallant, and Norm's father, Norm Sr. Both men are die-hard anglers, but Joe was the one showing them how it's done. This is great. I, I never met a fish I didn't like. This is fun. I wish he'd let me catch one. <laughs> they fight really hard and they're fun to catch. And you almost catch one every time you come out here. I think I got 30 pound test monofilament, about a foot and a half long with a stopper bead. A uh, three-fourths ounce weight, and then I got a size three hook. Joe's bait of choice, corn. You can go on any river, whether it's a Crow Wing or Mississippi, or I mean, you're not gonna really see a lot of other boats. And you know, you ask anybody in Minnesota, where are you going? I'm going to the lake, I'm going to the lake. And we just drive right by and a guy forgets how much fun, you know, fishing carp or fishing suckers or Shoot, these are great smallmouth rivers and walleyes and northerns, and they just don't get hit. It really reminds me of going to Alaska and the rivers, and the, the fish pull so hard in the current. It's fun. Buck on the next one. I got one. Are you serious? You dirty dog. You had to wait till I said a buck on the next fish, didn't you? Where's my buck? 
<laughs> oh, I guess I'll pay you. He got one too, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. We got a double header. All right. Nice. You think maybe next time I could catch one? No. <laughs> I don't think this net's big enough for two, boys. It's big enough for mine. Just throw them up here, I'll get them unhooked. Ah, I missed them. There he is. Double header. Yep, double header. There. Norm never got his buck back, but he was able to connect with a carp. Wow, he just in the current, just thumping. Here he comes. Wow. Boy, that thing really, really fought. So if you're looking for some action and you like big fish that pull hard, give carp a try. Who knows? You just might like them. When we come back, we're going to chase another bottom dweller whose popularity is on the rise. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Yamaha Generators and Otter Tail Lakes Country. Want outdoor power that's super lightweight and ultra quiet with world-class dependability and quality? Then you should check out the new Yamaha EF2000 ISV2. The I stands for inverter, which means it puts out the cleanest power you can get to safely operate today's sensitive electronics. The V2 means it's a whole new generation. Hey everyone, it's me, the Inner Otter. Everybody knows Ottertail County, Minnesota is a great place to stay, play, and dine. But did you know there are a lot of great opportunities to live and work here too? Here's an Otter one just for you. Live in the heart of Ottertail County, Minnesota. The cities of Battle Lake, Ottertail, and Henning offer you quality of life, affordable housing, and jobs. For more information or to find your inner otter, visit ottertaillakescountry.com. When it comes to our precious lakes and rivers, the fight to prevent the spread of aquatic invasive species is the struggle of our generation. And we all need to be involved, from anglers, to hunters, to recreational users, and anyone who loves our lakes. To find out how you can do your part to prevent the spread of AIS, visit the online home of Changing Minnesota Traditions at minnesotatraditions.com. The Outdoor Report is brought to you by Power Lodge, Ranger Boats, and Evan Rood. This is a story about a group of buddies who traveled a long way just to land some bourbon. At the end of the day, it's kind of just something new to try, right? Yeah, it's just hanging out with good people, having beers, and if you fish the same thing every day, you're gonna get bored of it. So adding a couple bourbon trips a year adds to the repertoire of, of fun, right? Jean Filion and most of this crew are from Canada. Oh, that's the hoodie winner. Oh, <laughs> baby. They've started a tradition of traveling south to Minnesota to go fishing. This trip included a friendly wager the guy who catches the biggest burbot wins this one-of-a-kind Jason Rylander sweatshirt. It's, it's classy stuff. Stains and all. Beauty. Wicked, boys. I love having burbot thumb. There's something about people always say smally thumb. It's like flip a bunch of burbots. Why burbots? Mostly because they're beautiful. Secondly, because most people don't like them. You pound the bottom, work it up a little bit, and ponder again. Pretty much just dumb luck. Doesn't take much skill. I finally got one. Jason is the resident eel pout expert. Tonight we're fishing here because the spawn is on. Fish are a lot more shallow. They're a lot more finicky but they are balled up, and when you find one, you typically find two, three, four, five, ten. 
He says he met these guys on the interwebs. Swim. And they share a fondness for just having fun. Just go out and explore and try some new waters and meet some new friends and, and get out there and try a bunch of different things because, uh, you know, this is our second year doing this in a row and both years has just been absolutely spectacular, just a load of fun. No fishing trip would be complete without a feast from a local eatery. Right, it's a tray of chicken. You don't have rib sauce in your beard, you're not doing it right. Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a oh, bell. No. Oh, no. Now? Go. Man. Paul's got a bell. He's not going to want to go home. No, Paul's on. No Paul's way. On. So have you ever come to Minnesota to go fishing before? Nope, first time. What do you think about bourbon fishing in Minnesota? Bourbon fishing in Minnesota has been awesome. So much fun. We got food right on the ice. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Can't ask for better than that. So I would imagine it's pretty rare, especially when, when a lot of Americans, Minnesotans and North Dakotans are <laughs> coming, coming up to fish greenbacks. You know, we're coming down here. so. I think it's definitely rare. As for the sweatshirt. Dogging. Yeah. Ryan wants that sweatshirt. Want that sweatshirt. That might go. That might do That's it. gonna go. That might do it. That might do it. That That's might gonna take, go, John. That might take a day. Dude, you got it by a quarter. Woo! No yeah, he got no it by way. a quarter. We <laughs> measured. Here's a sweatshirt, man. Remeasure. I don't think it's 24 and a quarter. So what did we learn? What's the moral of the story? Well, you might want to try a fish list of your own. I know ours forced me to get out of my comfort zone, fish new waters, and meet some pretty cool people. Plus, it forced me to make time for my son. Because as we all know, it's not about having time, it's about making time. I'm Eric Osberg with your Outdoor Report.